Loaded up here with our second round, our six by sixes. Barrel, ready to go. So we just came back with our load. We've got our initial posts laid in just to kind of get a, an idea. And we're gonna start pouring up some concrete here and lay in our first posts. First layer of uh, concrete going in. Oh man, on the job. I'll do it. Med bubbles coming up. Good. Yeah. Like that. Nice and level. Got her set. We got our first post sunk last night and we're about to get our second one here done. Three out of the four posts are set. Last one is in. Mixing up our creep. About to come back here. Fill it in. Got everything nice and level. Figures. We're about midway through digging my next post hole and there's a damn titanic iceberg underneath the ground. So I'm yanking it out here with the truck. Luckily we got it moved already, but Jesus. Okay. Round two of the pull. Ready? Yep. You guys go fast or slow? First slow, lock in. Right. Ah. Go. We've been yanking it forward and throwing stuff underneath it and we're almost out of the hole here. Front four are in. Ran our line here for the rear and about to make our next post holes. Got us a beautiful sky. All of our front posts in. Digging our back holes here. And we're uh, getting on with it. So here we are, beautiful evening here, and we've got mostly all the posts already set. Still got to do a couple more in the middle, but a lot of work there for a day and a half. My love, look at this sunset right now. I think it's like the most beautiful one I've ever seen here. Me and Carmen got a lot of work done, and I don't know if you can see the moon back there too, just like right there, but man. It's so beautiful right now. Oh, there it is. Woo! We're getting our center post set here, and then we can start running our at our rafter. Big move here. We got our first two by 10 going across the top. Set our pitch. Now we're gonna start framing this all out. Got our front row of two by 10s up. And now we're gonna hit the middle and the back. Looking pretty good. We're determining the height to put the 2x10x20 by by for here to match that one over there. So we're running a level across a piece of line to go here and then we'll be able to know our height there. Center 2x10 going here. Got the middle row in now. And it is looking pretty good. 
It's gonna set the back now. Now we've got the last row going up. Almost done here. Then we can run the rafters. These headers, that's what I'll call them. Got all those up there going across and now we can start laying the rafters. Carmen's gotta head home, so I'll handle all that on my own. But we've got all the heavy lifting done. Obviously gonna cut some of that off. But there she is. What do you got going on here, Frank? Got a fucking post that's a little shingad, so we're fixing them. It's the only way we know how. A little muscle. Getting the rafters cut up here. Doing an old trick. Like so. That's all cut up. And let's slipper in. Nice. Oh yeah. Backside. Oh yeah. Look at that fit. Let's check our bubble. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Looking pretty good. Everything's just kind of set right now laying on top. I haven't actually hammered in any of the nails but uh not too bad going 24 on center all the way across and we'll also do some internal bracing on these beams even though they've kind of got it built in there with my cuts i'm no perfect carpenter by any means so it's not exactly perfect everywhere but it's pretty damn good for my first time ever doing something like this i'd say basically we're just out here laying these rafters and time after time again dude we're just floating bubble okay i mean we're just floating it. You can't really get much more float than that. Got our back section of rafters done. Got them nice and lined up, looking good. Most of the fronts are in. Nice and level across, looking good. So we're getting a little exercise today here with the D500. I'm gonna go pick up my roofing for the garage and uh, she's out and about looking stout. All right, here we are to pick up the roofing. Gonna get the old D500 here loaded up. Load is secured. Time to hit the road. So here we are, rolling through town. Just waking up, people. That's all right. We got a delivery to make, people. We got to go. Backing her in. Oh, yeah. To the garage. So that's a mission success. We've got the roofing back here. Garage is nearly ready for the roof. Just doing a couple more bracing uh, piece of wood between each of the rafters and kind of started a wall there. But we've got all the roofing here and uh, time to unload her. It's gonna be a nice green corrugated steel. It will match the existing roof on the house. Right on. Come on. 318 has got a little bit of a passenger side exhaust manifold leak. Try to hear it, I don't know. But it's running damn smooth. The freaking truck is awesome. I mean, the way they designed this hood, too, you can even open vertically, get all up in there, be able to do repairs. Super easy. 
climb up, oil bath, air cleaner, good old smoky blow by. Burns up a little bit of oil here and there, but you think you know what I'm doing that. My compressor, my new lines that you saw put on there on the uh, air over hydraulic system. Running good. Hell yeah, man. This freaking truck. Bad mamma jamma. So the idea is to use it, you know, for storage. Be nice, uh, it's 20 feet deep, 30 feet long. And I kind of came up with the design myself and my brother and I built this thing. So about ready to lay all the, um, the furring along the top once I get all my bracing and blocking done here and then pull those strips of roof up and be ready to go. Here's another view from the backside. Went with that decline there just to give it a good pitch for runoff. Obviously, I'm going to cut the tops of all those posts and then it's going to be flushed with the roof. And there she is. Pouring up here on the top of the roof, going every 12 inches on center, and uh, it's going to look pretty good, I think, when we're done. Roofing down there on the D500, waiting to go up. So it's pretty cool. I can parallel the truck right up against the back of the garage here, and then I'm going to lay a couple boards down here and pull the pieces of roofing up that way and get them set up. Oh yeah. I got the first two pieces of roofing up and I'm gonna do the rest of the furring going here across the roof and then start laying some more pieces down. So far it's looking pretty damn good. Time to manhandle some roofing onto the roof. <laughs> Get on up there. Cutting off the last of these posts sticking up. And we'll have the rest of the roof nice and flat. Like a glove. Timber. Almost done getting the roof laid up here. A couple more pieces to go. Then I'll come through and finish screwing the rest of it down, but it looks pretty damn good. Hell yeah. Here we are in the final stages, about to cut the ends off here of this furring and drag the last few pieces of wo uh, roofing up and it'll be ready. So looking pretty damn good. I am happy man. Oh yeah. There it is, got the roof up. Just gotta finish doing the sides on it now. Looks pretty damn awesome. Got all the wood except that one stump in the back cleared out of the garage today and I'm about to clean up the floor, try and get it a little bit more level and then I've got a truck that's going to come and deliver some one inch crusher and I'm going to fill this in and make a floor and I cover this whole area here and get a nice solid uh, floor so we can park the cars in the garage. Truck is here with all the stone. I'm going to drop it in.
yeah. Nice. And there it is, boys and girls. 10 tons of one inch crusher. Get this all shoveled in, make us a nice floor in the garage. What do you say, Ram? Getting it all pulled out. Start leveling it here. So it's a really windy day today, but at least the sun's out. I'm gonna be putting up the other walls here on the side of the garage. And I've got some nicer looking T11 that I'm gonna side on the side of the garage here too. So get this all cut up and mounted on. weather persists, flurries, but we've got part of the framing done here, and on this side all the nice siding is now on, and we're going to do some framing, or mounting some trim like that, that'll look pretty good. Adding some more header up here, just to kind of reinforce. A little dark to see, but you can kind of see I got most of the framing done here on the back and the side. Just kind of got to get some of the vertical pieces of wood going there, but it is getting closer and closer to being done. It's Florian, but there's a garage to be built, all right? I don't give a damn. So I got my template here, which I've cut off from a different piece, and it's got the right angle, so pretty easy. I'm just gonna take it, line it up here, and then use that to draw my line and make my cut, and then we'll continue across the top. Got it set. Pull our line across, and then we'll cut. So I've got part of the back already done, and the whole side here is complete too. Looking pretty good. So the garage is nearly complete. Got the back wall finished the other night. I'm just gonna make some doors. They're gonna both meet in the middle and open outward. Got uh, everything nice and framed out. Gonna have to stain the back side, everything else, make it match. But she is a mission success.